Hey there, friends, and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White, and today whew, we're going to be playing the final part of the final chapter of Life is Strange 2. I am not ready. I do not know what to expect. I hope you're ready because you're going to have to help me out here. We're going we're gonna to go through this together. Take a second before we begin, if you're so inclined, to hit the like button as I remind everyone that Patreon has just recently been restructured. There's all new rewards available, including the Discord, which is super active and wholesome. We chat all the time, we make jokes, we answer riddles, we play games together, all sorts of fun stuff. We also organize community events, like we recently had a SRG Games Biathlon and we have hosted SRG Con through that. It's, it's truly an amazing community to be a part of, and we'd love to see you there. There's also the capability to join monthly video hangouts with me where we play games, and also to have your username on the thank you page of all of my YouTube videos if joining the Discord is not really your thing. Anyways, I hope you feel free to check it out. There's some other awards on there as well. The link is in the description below, but the URL is also www.patreon.com slash thestrangerebel. And the reason I say this on this video is because, as you may remember, Life is Strange is a completely demonetized playthrough because of the copyrighted music. I choose to leave it in and skip the ad revenue because I have the support of patrons. And you can donate any amount that you want. I know the reward tiers make it look like you can't, but even if you only have $1 to support, it would mean the world to me, and Patreon has the ability to do that. So thank you so much to all of you for being so amazing. It means the world to me. And now, let's get on to that gameplay video. Enjoy. No shit. Told you New Yorkers were assholes. Yeah, I know. How about that the other gallery she told me about? Cool. Fingers crossed then. I mean, by calling uh, her Jersey. sweetie, <laughs> we have to assume it's Chloe? Yeah, those solar panels are finally up and running. You'll see them next time you come by. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if you drive down to Louisiana or Texas, that'd be cool. So Max and Chloe are on the run too. They're just moving from yeah, place to place. Gotcha. All right. They just left New York and now they're heading down to Texas and Louisiana. Bye bye. Love ya. I get why David would feel compelled to tell Sean to turn himself in, that the truth is on his side that people will believe him. I understand David's compulsion to say those things, but he just doesn't understand that that's how the justice system works for him. Someone who came up in the system, who thrived in the system, someone whose skin color the system believes. But they've, it's already been proven. It's already been set up from episode one when everything went awry just because Esteban came out of his house. And episode two, was that episode one? That was still episode one, I, I feel like, where the, the racist gas store owner called out Sean, punched him in the stomach for no reason. You can't pretend that race doesn't have something to do with what these boys are going through. And so for David to just try and convince him, you know, oh, they'll believe you, they won't. Statistically, it's unlikely. And running does seem like the safer option, even just not thinking like a teenager. 
It just seems that way. It seems safer to get out of America. How sad is that? After the desert roads, you deserve a nice beach retreat. Hey. Oh. Need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. <laughs> That's cool. I think Dad was kind of bummed I never got into cars. That's all right. You just have to find your own passion. I have. Had. Plenty. Just... not engines and stuff. More like... art. And sports. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be too. <sighs> yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. Whatever that was. He asked me to bring him a wrench Wish and I, I couldn't do it. Listen, Esteban it's not the right size anyway. And Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Wish he was here with us. It's bullshit that we get to see Puerto Lobos, but he doesn't. I know. But Esteban is still with you. And he always wanted you and Daniel to see where he came from. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running. Of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming and we don't know where it comes from but you do know your brother you'll be there for each other i'm scared shitless i don't i'm not even sure i can do this or if we can start a new life but i'm the only one that can take him to safety your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore he had to grow up too fast. He wants to be equals, and you guys are gonna have to work together. He may even help you make it. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out, like you always do. Okay, better get back to my tune-up. All right, I'll make one last round before leaving. I already made my last rounds. So I feel like I am done. Um, all right, here we go. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. So, did you get to say goodbye to Away? Yeah. I did. Kind of sad. I know. It Are was. We, yet? we have to, Anano. Come here. Mom. I. I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was amazing to spend this time with you. I'm so damn proud of you both. And what you're going to do with your life. And if you ever need me, I'm just around the corner. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Oh, Daniel. Well, Sean, this is it.
Why would this be a major choice? I guess if we'd pushed Karen away all this time, I'm not, this is, this is easy as pie decision for me. Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. Choose love. Always. Let's hit the road. Gosh, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what we're headed for. Hey, is something wrong? We're almost there, okay? That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So... What's the problem? What... What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? Um... As long as we want. We have a house there. That's what Dad wanted, and I know. So, what are we gonna do for money and stuff? I get a job, man. It won't be hard. You can probably go to school. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? You'll learn. I'll teach you, man. You think so? That's cool. You fit in That's cool. everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel... I get scared, too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. Okay. I trust you. Oh, I hope that doesn't come back to bite him in the butt. <laughs> that trust. curious how Sean drives. I feel like it's very helpful that there's like no one else ever on the road because I feel like you'd have to completely relearn how to judge distance by size as opposed to naturally via depth. That's kind of fun. See, they're finding ways to have joy. 
and have fun together and create good memories. Don't you dare be over. Don't you dare. Okay. I didn't want them to end on something vague. But I guess I know better from Life is Strange. It can't be over because I'm not crying yet. Oh boy. That looks so big. Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. I am curious what their plan is for this. All units be advised. After the raid on the way, there was no sign of Sean and Daniel Diaz. We believe they left within the past. What? Hours. The two brothers are still considered armed and dangerous. Proceed with caution. Uh, wait, there's two police the scanners. <gasps> the mother's been arrested. Oh, no. no. Sean, why would they arrest Mom? Why? So they can give her shit. But she didn't do anything. I mean, she did burn the down have the church. I hope so. Why can't they just leave us alone? They're going to. Once we're over that fucking wall. This shit lasts until Puerto Lobos. Unless our car breaks down in the desert. Hey. Sean? Why would they build this? Well, you know, it's a border, man. Is there a wall like this up north? Nah, not really. So, why did they build one here? I don't know, Daniel. That sucks. Pretty interesting conversation exchange there why did they build a wall here on this border but not on the northern border the with canada we're at the end of america why is that i don't know what our plan is here because We're not bringing our supplies from the car. Um, we're just gonna look at it. Are we gonna have Daniel break it? Interesting. Shit. I didn't think there would be more than a barbed wire fence out here. I don't know that there's anything in particular to interact with besides asking Daniel to destroy this wall. There's something here. Wow. Will really just leave stuff for the immigrants? So the stone said, Good luck. I hope I can pay this forward. That water must be a hundred degrees, but it's way better than nothing. Yeah. If you needed to drink, and you had something, or you had nothing, then it would be helpful to have something. Don't know how much farther they'll... No yeah, wasting time. not much litter. We need to cross that wall. Okay. Clouds look pretty. Don't really know what else we're gonna be looking for here. Got 
some rocks. No wasting time. And that's that. Okay, we well. Cross that wall. I guess we're asking Daniel to destroy some wall. Don't know how this is gonna go. Maybe it will be a disaster. Maybe it will be cathartic. Let's find out. Might have been better to do this at night, but you know. So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. You're right, Tuprov. Uh, almost. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. We did it. <gasps> we fucked that shit up. <laughs> yes! <sighs> it's all thanks to you. It's gonna be all right now. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh, oh man. please want these kids oh, to make it through. I cannot wait to swim in the ocean. I am so scared oh, they're not going to make it through. Just walk to the beach. I'm just going to take a second now to take a quick break. I'm going to go turn my AC off uh, cuz I can tell it's getting very loud. I am tense as well. I am going to play an ad for non-subs to disable pre-roll so that anybody popping in to watch the end of the game can just pop in. Um, two minutes. Tops. Okay? Promise.
I promised it would be a very quick break, and it was. Whoo, is everybody back? All right. Oh, I'm so nervous, but I just want to get right into the rest of this game. I'm so nervous. Man, I just want these boys to be happy. Oh, boy. Okay, AC's off, so we got some nice, good, quiet background noise. Okay. I'm so tense. Oh, my gosh. Can't wait to go shopping. I'm dying to get some choco crisp. Music's kicking in. Oh man, do they sell those in Mexico? It'll be. <gasps> Daniel! Daniel! Daniel, talk to me. Daniel, talk to me. Oh. 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 No. No way, not now. Daniel! Pick him up and start running. Go! Hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, oh! Oh, oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed him. Let me him. go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! Going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. We're Americans! Americans, damn it! Now it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? Listen, it's a long story, but we really are trying to get out of here. You can fucking skateboard across the border ten miles away. So tell me the plan. You're not cops. You can't arrest us. No, but we work with them. And they sure appreciate our help. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on! We have to deal with this kid. No, Still bleeding. Don't touch him! Get off! We just can't have don't anything. Move. Can't have anything. What? What the fuck? Stop! Get it off! Jesus! What the fuck is going on? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. Fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegals! Fuck's sake! What I say? Uh -oh. Uh, okay. Up. Up. Take a breath. You okay now? No, 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 no! What? Uh, I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest.
These boys just can't win. Don't look at me. Estás bien? Sí. She's pregnant. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla y este frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron a cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. I wonder how long they've been here, and why. What the hell is wrong with these people? A lot. I hope that Campbell's almost done. This with guy must work. be trained not to listen to Remember anything we say. Not coming back. Ugh, this place is fucking gross. No way I can break through that door without Daniel's help. Thanks. I'll remember that. Jeez. Wonder how many people have been locked up in here. I hate this. I hate everything about this. I hate it. I hate it. Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí. No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. En realidad, um, queremos llegar a México. ¿A México? No mames. Pero, ¿por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí. Nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. Son muy valientes. Y además estás embarazada. <ríe> Mi Carlita es la mujer más valiente del mundo. <ríe> Y la más inteligente también. En nuestro pueblo era profesora. Queremos que el niño nazca en este país. Que tenga la nacionalidad. Queremos darle una vida... Una vida mejor a nuestro hijo. O hija. Es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba su pueblo natal. Por supuesto, pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo, pero lo de México no va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Oh, man. I don't know what to say here. I don't know what we are integrated means. I don't know. Los tiempos cambian. 
Pero la gente también. En el camino... Encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. Cuando eres extranjero... Tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglarte más. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego, no, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride, and that makes me sick. We only want work and and in I peace. couldn't decide. Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. Your facts are just bigotry and hatred. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I hate what you did to my country. Our borders. We have a right to protect our sovereign nation. And we will. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. Now you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. What? Maddie. What you say? Oh, see? Siéntate, Diego. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tienes razón, amor. No vale nada. Whether you people like it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too. Loser. Good one, Sean. Loser. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, you have the right to remain silent. So fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. What terrible Hands advice, don't worry back. about him. Okay, let's move it. I hate it here. All right, sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood, but he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? I want out of here. Okay. Good. Be right back. Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. Oh, shit. Is it morning already? No point in getting these off. They're I hope he's all right. How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? Um, it was now eleven o'clock. Why would we have to leave? There is no way we can. So tired of all this shit. I can't hear what's going on no, outside. We Oh, it's just the lady complaining again. I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's the lady complaining. Well, nothing else to look at. I... 
been a long fucking night. I hate oh, what this is making us confront. You're going to solitary. Got it? Because it's very unpleasant. And unfortunately, it's very real. I hate it. There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? Yeah. No. Coffee's gonna make me feel Shit. so much better. I feel like this guy, like would have immediately seen wanted by the FBI and like the FBI's on their way and like he shouldn't be talking to him until the FBI's there. Am I just gonna drink my coffee some more? Oh, Daniel doesn't freak out any. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. Okay, already calling us a criminal. What kids can cool. do nowadays. Already thinking we did all of those things. All right, cool. Killing that officer in Seattle. All right. Vandalizing a motel room. Okay. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada. Hmm. Oh. Which ends up burnt to the ground. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. You know what? I have a feeling it's it not going to matter, crazy, but, I can but we're going to try. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey, it's not up to me, kid. Listen. I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. It wasn't my fault. All I did was try to survive. Yeah, I guess you did. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. So why didn't you wait for the police? Um, I'm uh, pausing the game really quick to welcome the Raiders from Nerd Appropriate. Welcome. Uh, we're in a very intense cutscene in the very end of the game, but I'm happy you're here. Yes, thank you for the go follow for Nerd Appropriate. Hey, how you doing? Um... <laughs> yeah, it's a very intense cutscene. Um, but welcome in. Thank you for uh, showering the raiders with finger guns. Um, if you're new here, hi, I'm Brianna. Um, most recently, um, as. Whoa. <laughs> Um, sorry, I just gotta reorient myself here. Hi, my name's Brianna, and I am a content creator that streams story-based games like Life is Strange, and sometimes they're intense, and I focus on them very intensely. Um, but I am also, uh, known as the voice actress of Aerith in Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, so you may know me from that. So feel free to click the follow button if you'd like to, uh, stay on, stay on track with my content. If you'd like to join Team Strange Rebel, join the community, um, <laughs> yeah, we're playing a very serious story right now. It's very sad times, so <laughs> sad, frustrating cutscene, and, um, I'm fe very much feeling the emotions of the game, so welcome in. I'm happy you're here, um, but I'm gonna get back into the game, and I, uh, do something called immersed mode, where I really focus on the story, and I don't read the chat line for line, um, so that I can really, uh, focus on giving the best quality commentary um so i'm gonna i'm gonna head back in dive back into this game and uh hope you enjoy some intense feels
I'm gonna see if it lets me say nothing. Because technically, he really shouldn't be saying anything. Because we should be waiting until our lawyer is here to say anything. But I have a feeling we're not gonna be able to skip. How long do I wait to see? It's been 10 seconds. We're gonna have to say something, aren't we? I hate this. Because you can't say the right thing. When you're in this situation, the only right thing to say is nothing until you see your lawyer, no matter what. But here we are, and it's not gonna matter if we say the right things or the wrong things. No one would have believed what happened. We didn't either. Well, it's too late now. Your case is filled to the brim with evidence. Evidence. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. That's a nice thing to say. That's just a nice thing to say to another human being. Uh, that your life is I over. What I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? Not saying anything. Not doing it. How long till this time's out? I'm hoping that power surge was Daniel waking up. Everything feels like an eternity right now. And I hate it. We're gonna have to say something. I was hoping it would time out, but it's not gonna time out. Those were just random accidents. Yeah, it's crazy, but it just happens around us. I can't explain it. Uh-huh. Listen, once is an accident. Twice is luck. Three times is enemy action. Okay. Whoa! Uh, what is that? Sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. It's a good thing that David told us to just tell the truth. Sean! You okay? How do you feel? I, I'm okay. Just a little headache. Hold on. Dude, we gotta go. Hold up. Oh boy. Is he okay? I, I wanted to rescue you. Oh boy. I had to use my power. I didn't want to hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry. Oh, God. Mom, we gotta go. Get us out of here. Sean, who are these people? Well, Carla and Diego. Whoa, look at Sean's eye. Mexico. What the heck is going on? And God. Thrown in jail for it. As for the others, they're the ones who tried to shoot you. What? They got locked up? Good. Oh, go to hell. Wait, aren't you supposed to be in a hospital? You look like crazy people. Come I'm on, glad. Daniel. He's up for the count. Only use our powers for good. That's it. Good thinking, Daniel. I killed him? No, no. He's okay. He'll just wake up with a nasty headache. Okay, oh, hands up! Shit! Don't hands up. shoot! Hands up! Do not move! Wait! Sean? Stay back, Daniel. 
Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick, I gotta find something to stop them. The chair. Gotta Don't get them. them. Now. Fuck. They're dangerous. Be careful. We will shoot if we need to. Understand? I'm scared. Do something. Why can't I look at anything else? Fire Don't do anything stupid, kids. What the fuck? Okay, what the fuck? Do not move. You can see I'm not this moving. Is our last Throw that locker. I didn't want to hurt anybody anymore. You saved us. You had no choice. Now, let's bail. Sean, I think our things are in there. Hey, step hey, back. What did you do? You nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Oh, my heart is beating so fast. Okay, but be quick. Know what to do. I don't like any of it. Bet it belongs to one of these trigger happy people. They must really feel threatened to put so much effort into this. Look at that. Crime Central. Come on, Sean. We gotta go. We're going. We're going. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. I hate that he has to use them. Take it out, Daniel. Time to go. Hurry, Sean! Drive! I'm going. This is not gonna go well. This is not gonna go well at all. I don't no, like it at all. Nobody is chasing us. Oh, but they will. Not yet. Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean, it's the 4th of July. Our first one without Dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He was so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Imagine this is the last chance that these boys are gonna get, and I'm sure Daniel. Shit. Has a limit to the powers he can use. I don't know why we didn't Sean, turn around by do? this point.
You know that day? In Seattle? The day Dad was shot? I think about it every day. And I would give anything to change what happened. But I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. I'm so proud of you, Nano. Just like Dad would be. We both learned a lot together. But you can make your own rules now. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will always do the right thing, okay? Don't waste your power. Be smart like you already are. I don't want to be separated. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Sean, Diaz. You know this I promise, Sean. A trap. You can trust me. Please, get out of the car. Come on. There's no way out. This is our last so, warning. Listen up. How does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? I hate this. I'm starting to understand the central through line of this story is the same one as Wicked. Are people born evil or is evilness thrust upon them? If someone can be given the opportunity to do good and follow a good path, can people also be forced into a bad one? Do you do the right thing when the right thing kills you? Do you have a choice when it feels like you don't? Sean has over and over again said, we didn't have a choice. We don't have a choice. We have to run. We have to get to Puerto Lobos. We had to burn down the church. But is this a game that comes in and says, you always have a choice? And we've been trying to teach Daniel this whole time that you always have a choice to do good. If we try to use Daniel's power to cross the border, people will get hurt. Do we care? Or has the circumstances that we've endured hardened us. Because I gotta be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm a Paragon player. I like to make the right choices. I like to do the right things. But I'm pretty close to just saying screw it and trying to cross the border. If we surrender, We've been told that Daniel is too young to prosecute and that he'll go live with the grandparents like he wants. That's a good life for him. And we should probably give him that.
But Sean just gets completely screwed over. There's no hope for him. This game has said over and over again that there's no hope for him. That he doesn't get a happy ending no matter what. He's so young to have had all this happen to him. And he has tried so hard to make the right choices. And for him to have to make a choice like this at the very end, it's not fair. But it's kind of a similar choice to the end of Life is Strange. And it comes down to selfishness or selflessness. Do you make the selfless choice to give Daniel a good life, a comfortable life, and sacrifice your own comfort and go to jail for the rest of your life? Or do you make the selfish choice to stay together as brothers, companions through the end, come what may, no matter who dies, we'll be together. I know what choice I made in Life is Strange 1. I know I couldn't, I couldn't let go of Chloe. But they were smart making this decision, crafting this one, and, and giving you the inclination that Daniel is going to have a good, comfortable life if you give him up. And now that we've talked it through for so long, I know what choice I more want to see. As much as I am a want to be praised and do the right thing and follow all the rules kind of person and a kind of player, I just want to see these boys happy together in Mexico. It's what we've been pushing for the whole series. But are we going to get what we want? If we ask this of Daniel, is he going to be too tired? If we fail, does it matter? But Daniel is going to have to grow up knowing that he will probably kill someone in this. I just can't help but feel like, as a player, I know what will happen if we surrender. There's no happy surprises waiting on the other side of this choice. But maybe... We can try to give them some sense of freedom. High cost, but potentially high reward. And as a game player, I think I'd just rather see what happens if we try. <sighs> we might die. We might die surrendering. <sighs> I hate this. 
This is the longest it's ever taken me to make a decision. They make it to the other side. What? You sure? Trust me, okay? Just get us through. Hold on tight. Oh, fuck. I don't want him! I'm not hurting anyone at all! Sean! Oh, stop them! Oh. It's too late! They're shooting at us, Daniel! This is the only way! What? Karen. <laughs> this is his first car?
on house arrest. Interesting. Doesn't seem fair since he wasn't supposed to be prosecuted. heavier and you're gonna have to pay more for postage. Just remember that. We did it. It's finished. It's over. The game has ended and that ending was, some people would call it bittersweet and some people did call it that in the Twitch chat, but I just found it to be only sad, just sad and nothing but sad. I understand how we got that ending because we encouraged Daniel to be a good citizen and make good choices and do no harm and he ultimately had to make the decision not to join us in Mexico because of that, and I get that, and I think it was still the right call, and this is kind of like the happiest sad ending, I feel, because Daniel still was raised to be a good kid and not a psycho, and Sean got his life of freedom in Mexico, instead of being imprisoned in America, and I get all of that, I do, it still just feels really unfair that they had to be separated and that they were going to be separated almost no matter what. I think looking at the choices, it was only like 7% chance that the boys were going to be together. That sucks. I hate it. I don't think it was poorly written. I think it was very well written with the intention that the devs probably had, which was to, to make you think about the choice that you made and did you make the right one. Life is Strange has always been about that, and I think that that's perfect for a choice-based game. I think all choice-based games should have choices that make you wonder why you did that and make you question if it had to be this way and make you want to do it over again. I think that that's a success of the genre. It still hurts <laughs> that you feel so attached to these boys and you just want them to be happy. That's all I wanted going in. I just wanted them to be happy and I think that they ended up happy in their own ways in the end, but I don't know. They they could have had a better chance if, and this is, I don't want to get too incensed in the chat, in the comments, 
but ultimately this game makes you confront some very real life issues about tolerance, intolerance, vigilantism, racism. All of those things are real. And this game makes you confront those topics in a way that makes you feel like you're experiencing them yourself and in a way that has the opportunity to open your heart and give you an empathetic experience that hopefully you take a lesson from, that everybody takes a lesson from, to go forward with more compassion for your fellow human, to lead with love no matter what, because everyone is worthy of love. Everyone is worthy of being believed and... Man, it really makes you remember if you can forget for half a second, if you're the type of person that has the privilege to forget for half a second, this game makes you remember that these problems are real and that they need to be discussed, they need to be addressed, they need to be brought to the forefront. And art that can do that in, in a way that gives you a lasting impression that maybe changes you for the good. I love art like that. I commend art like that. I think art like that should exist. But it's not easy. It's not easy to confront, but we have to. We have a responsibility to. For our fellow person, for our fellow human, who deserves a good life like these boys did. And they didn't get that. They deserved a nice little normal suburban carefree life. Oh, I'm just realizing we never got back in touch with Lila, ever. That's sad. Lila never came back in the story. That sucks. All right, well, yeah, sad. <laughs> sad. I'm sad. Anyways, that's the moral of this outro is Brianna's sad. She's got an emotional hangover and she needs to do some self-care. You need to do some self-care. Do some self-care. Care for yourself. Light a candle that smells good and uh, cuddle your animals and get under a warm blanket and watch a comedy. Mm -hmm. I think that's what Dr. Brianna prescribes. Okay. Whew. But besides that, leave me a comment and uh, let me know what ending you got. I'm curious if you were one of the 7% that got the uh, the boys stay together ending, which ultimately is not a happy ending in its own right either. Just like Chloe and Max being together is not a happy ending in its own right. And, uh, please remember to like the video if you enjoyed it, share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And please remember to subscribe to Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. And of course, if you like this content, if you want to support more of this content on this channel, please do consider contributing to my Patreon. Um, Life is Strange 2 is an almost completely demonetized playthrough on my channel. The first Life is Strange was the same way, and Life is Strange Before is the same way. Life is Strange Before the Storm is the same way as well. Um, because of the copyrighted music, I choose to keep it in because I think it's a really important part of the game. It provides a really lot. Uh, it provides a lot of atmosphere, and I want to keep it keep the music in. But because of that, I risk copyright claims and copyright strikes and trouble in my channel. So. If you would like to support this content, you are free to take a look at the Patreon, see the rewards that we offer, join the Discord community. You can contribute as much as $1 if you'd like, and it would mean the world to me. It gives me the freedom to create content without having to worry about money. So I appreciate all of you. Remember my self-care prescription. Make sure you get that filled this weekend. And I love you all very much. Bye!